if you were rated on your job as a husband, would you get a bonus or a pink slip? I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And you know, we approach marriage very differently than we do any other aspect of our lives. And in your job, you get a yearly performance appraisal. And the question becomes, are you going to get a bonus as a husband or are you going to get fired? And we don't tend to think about it in that way, but I'm going to tell you, you and your, and your wife are actually paying attention. And here's the deal. You may not know what your job description is. You may not know what your job duties are, but I guarantee you, you are being evaluated each and every day. And if you don't know how you're doing, then you're actually opening yourself up to lose your job. And if you lost your physical job, yes, it would be costly, but you probably be able to get another one fairly quickly. If you lose your job as a husband, I'm going to tell you it is a lifelong journey to dig yourself out because you will immediately lose 50% of everything you have. And if, you know, and, and I'm not trying to scare people. I mean, that just happens to be a fact. And you give a lot of time and energy and effort, rightly so, to your job, which brings uh, money in, which allows you to create the life that you have. But what happens if it's all taken away? And let's not even talk, and that's not even the talking about the emotional cost of losing your job as a husband. And, you know, there are a lot of people who do the bare minimum, right? Just, you know, their, their goal is to not lose their job. It's not necessarily to be the star player. And I'm going to tell you that if you bring that attitude to your marriage, you're probably going to be one of the people who gets a very nasty surprise come performance review time. And, you know, I don't want this for you. And, you know, and I get it. I mean, there are no job descriptions written, although I would highly recommend that you and your wife talk about what that is. Um, you actually sort of do have a performance basis. It's called your marriage vows. It's what did you promise on your wedding day? And how are you living up to it? Um, are you being a partner, an equal partner? Do you each know what the other one does and expects and all of these other things? Are you going above and beyond the basics? Um, and, you know, a lot of people say, well, why should I do that? My partner isn't doing that. My wife doesn't do that. And you know what? That doesn't work at the office and it's not going to work at home. And heroes, leaders, step up and do the right thing because it's the right thing. If you made marriage vows, whatever they were, are you honoring them? If you believe in the traditional marriage vows, love, honor, cherish, are you doing that? Do you know what those look like in practice? If you are doing for better or worse, richer or poorer, sickness and in health, what does that mean? Forsaking all others, which means everybody who is not your spouse. That's your parents, your kids, your friends, your job, the neighbors, your soccer, your, your recreational soccer team. Doesn't matter who it is. It's everybody other than your spouse. So there actually are some job descriptions out there. Now, and you may not realize that they are, but if you are not honoring what you promised, I'm going to tell you, you are at risk of being fired, and I so don't want that for you. So if you are concerned or curious about what your job requirements are as a husband, the first place to start is with your wife. And if that's not comfortable, the second place is to get in touch with me because I'll help you figure it out. This is what I do. I want you to be successful. I want you to reap the bonus and the benefits 
of being a star husband, being a hero husband. And as we are up, coming to the end of the year and we're taking a look back, be honest with yourself. What have you done well? Where could you improve? And if you have done well, does your wife agree? Does she acknowledge that those are areas that are important to her? Because if you're hitting it out of the park in an area that she doesn't care about, should it count? Absolutely. Will it count as much? Nope, because it's not where um, the payoff is. It's not where the reward is. So I invite you to get in touch with me. Let me know your thoughts. Um, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Share this with people who you think you might want to know about it. But more importantly, take it to heart. Really take a look at are you being the best husband you can be? Are you being the husband that you promised to be? If you are, fantastic. Keep it up. You're going to get a bonus. If there are areas of concern, let's get a handle on them before it snowballs into a pink slip. So hopefully this has been helpful. And until next week, stay loving.